I didn't go to boot camps or take an any certifications to get into UI jobs. So mostly I learned through reading ebooks or blogs, watching tutorials in YouTube, and of course practicing what I'm learning through my personal and client projects. So for me, there are no right or wrong approaches when it comes to learning UI designs, as long as um, you're yeah, you're learning and comfortable with what you are doing. Hey everyone, this is Franz and I'm a full stack designer based here in the Philippines. And if you're following me here on my YouTube channel, you're a subscriber. And if you recall one of my uh, previous video, it's way back. Uh, I'm not sure what, what year is it, but I shared a video about how I became a graphic and web designer. And in today's video this is more of a level up an upskilled one where i will share the the simple steps and roadmaps where you can become a ui and ux designer in 2023 so let's go so in pursuing a ui designer or ui ux designer role the biggest question here is you have to identify your why why do you want to pursue this role and how motivated and dedicated are you to continue learn this path and be a committed one in learning this role so if you're just hyped because you knew that this is one of the most high paying job or an in-demand career then or that's just your reason then maybe you need to pause for a while or just analyze yourself if you really want to pursue this commitment so let's dive now into the simple steps or the roadmaps on how you can become a ui and ux designer so the first step is of course you need to get familiarized uh, with what UI or UX are. So UI or user interface design in simple terms is the appearance or the visual uh, look of the product, let's say a website or an app. While the UX or the user experience, it's the how user-friendly friendly it is to the users. So I will not go through all this but I recommend reading the articles from the interaction.org um, and the UX Planet so you'll get familiarize yourself to uh, with the difference between UI and UX design. So step two if you're like me who's a visual learner a good way to study things is to check uh, real and actual web or app designs. So try to um, practice it on your own by imitating or copying the actual uh, interface, the design interface, and in that way you'll get to experience firsthand how to create it, how to create the design on your own. But a word of advice: don't claim it as your own design. You don't want to get into trouble. So some of the websites that I look over to serve as an inspiration for apps and websites. Um, aside from the ever popular um, Dribbble, Behance, and Pinterest are a mobbin. Page flows. Awards. and Lapa that Ninja. Is it Lapa that Ninja? Lapa and that ninja so third step and i think this is one of the most important uh, steps in this uh, roadmap is to study the guidelines the fundamentals and principles of the design not just ux not just ui um design in particular in in general i mean and also there are great uh websites that will serve as your references and as i uh, like to say this will be like your design bible on 
online Bible, design online Bible. So the um, websites are Laws of UX, Humane by Design, Developer that Apple, of course by Apple, and Material Design. So these websites will be your best friends, and most especially if you're going to apply in a big company and they will ask more questions about. Uh, design related principles so better be ready so fourth one and i think this is also one of the uh, most important one in this roadmap is to get familiarize yourself with the design system so this is super important when creating your design and most especially if you're going to hand over um, your design to your team and to the to your developer because this will be the basis in constructing uh, your design so two websites that i know that will be great references will be atlation and the design system guide so step five i think this will be the the most favorite one for this um, roadmap for these steps is to know and study design trends. So ever-changing technologies and design trends mean that you will constantly learn new things. So I suggest to be on the loop and subscribe to uh, reading resources like Medium or maybe subscribing to different channels in YouTube um, like on my here on my channel and of course um, following other creatives designer in social media like Instagram so there are lots of um, creatives out there who humbly share tips and values to the community so step six is know your design tools so for me personally I prefer Figma over other um, tools like Adobe XD or Sketch and I advise to sticking into one tool uh, for the first time so you'll not get too overwhelmed in learning new stuff and of course to be a pro eventually and speaking of figma so soon i'll be sharing uh, tutorials a step-by-step -step guide in using figma and of course applying it to uh, design some design samples so of course stay tuned and or subscribe here to my channel so last step step seven is to practice what you learn so there are great websites that will help you push uh, to be on the go with continue learning this um, ui design so a great example of this is the daily daily ui so they will send you daily challenges daily uh, design challenges and of course you need to work on it so another one is ux cell this one is one of my favorite a learning platform or learning uh, website because of their um, UI um, exams, UI game exams. So that's the seven steps, simple steps in becoming a UI and UX designer, although uh, most especially being a UI uh, designer. So before I um, end this video, I just want to leave some remarks, some advices. The first one is you don't need to learn everything. So you don't need to learn every tool available online or you don't need to memorize all of the uh, design principles, the fundamentals, and the guidelines. I, even myself, I don't know everything. But instead, focus on learning how to learn and maintain a constant state of curiosity in different aspects of UI and UX. Learn incrementally. So what I mean by that is dissect your topics and break them down down so you can study uh, a little bit of them every day instead of focusing all of them into a whole day but of course if that works for you then that's on you lastly be kind and compassionate to yourself so as designers we all go through like um common thing is the imposter syndrome where you self-doubt yourself self-doubt yourself doubt yourself and ask questions like are you good enough on this role? Did you uh, create a good design or output? Pretty like lost yourself in for quite some, some time. So that's the imposter, imposter syndrome. That's pretty normal. That's uh, normal for us designers and maybe uh, other creatives as well as uh, the developers. My advice is for you to just pause and rest for a while. You can maybe uh, travel, sleep. The useful you will just uh, go back. So 
So I hope you learned something new on this in today's video. I miss uh, having a uh, YouTube video. I miss you all, guys. So I hope you miss me too. <laughs> and yeah, um, um, stay tuned for uh, more videos, especially a uh, Figma related one. Yeah, if you like this video, you know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So see you again soon. Bye.